First of all, to see the distance between Roma and Romanians. And I've been traveling more with Roma than Romanians. But now on this last trip, I've been a lot together with Romanians. And I heard this sentence, now you're drowning like a gypsy on the shallow water. And people say it, and I ask, where do you get this from? Uh, do you know where this story comes from? They say, no, we just say it. So it's a very negative use of the cigar all the time in different ways and this is one of the sentences you use where you don't know the background. I checked a little so we made a cartoon about it. So if you want to find out what you are saying when you say now you drown like a gypsy on shallow water, get the magazine and look at the cartoon you will find the background. Because all stories, all sayings has some roots, but Romanians just say this without reflecting because they've heard it from their parents, the grandparents, and it's a program I really don't like. You are Romanians and Roma in this country, you should be able to communicate and uh, dance together. This is my mother dad, and I love it very much, and I love both the Romanians and the Roma. So I have maybe a complex love relationship to Romania, because I love you both. And uh, the first ones that opened up their hearts and doors for me when I came here was the Roma people. So I spent much time with them and made a book in uh, Norway 2006, now I'm here. I've been on many trips this time because I got support to make a new book, but this time I've been talking a lot to Romanians. And I pick up different things like this sentence, drowning like a... Uh, how do you say it in Romanian? Tenech Katsigan Lamad. That. And uh, I checked out a little. And people just use it. They don't know where it comes from. And now I told someone where it came from and they got very ashamed that they had used this without knowing. So this is a kind of educational program in this uh, magazine. So I hope people start to think before they involve the word cigar in some negative sentence. Uh, that was the shock. I got when I come to my motherland and saw the great distance between Roma and Romanians. I found out nothing is written in the history books about the Roma, where they came from, what they did here. So I want to educate people through this magazine with some real historical information that the school system in Romania did not care about giving.
come by funding the whole project by yourself? Uh, this is basically a project from my heart and from quite empty pockets that we made it. And I got a little support from uh, Norway for the printing of the magazine. Not much, but uh, so I don't have to use my credit cards too hard. I'm not in this for the money, really. This is a uh, contribution to my motherland and I hope with this magazine we have made a key to open the possibility to make more magazines with Romanians and Roma working together with historical and uh, present historic stuff in a modern form. Little outside this NGO uh, things that they print because it's been it's a nice magazine and it's inviting to read and you get information and I think it is time to make more these kind of things, especially if the Romanians and Roma do it together. I know this is the first number of the magazine. How do you plan to proceed in the future? Thought about fundraising or to request support from the embassy? Yeah, I will have a meeting with the Norwegian embassy before I leave in April and uh, see if there are possibilities to get money for similar projects in the future. Maybe start with two magazines a year, see if it grows, see what happens. But for me it's very important that it's Romanian and Roma, young people working together with this. No. Are you expecting any profits out of this or just recognition? Uh, Recognition is nice, profit I don't expect. Uh, the magazine will be published on the internet, 8th of April, the National Day of Roma, then anyone can get free access to it. We printed magazines to present it with the exhibition, so people could touch, but mainly it will be published on the internet. Can you tell me more about the people involved in the project? Yes. Uh, some Romanian friends, I started talking to them about uh, this. They had never thought very much about Roma before. Diana Pascu, which is the editor, she has been to India and then she met the gypsies there. And she met me when she came back and suddenly we went to a Roma exhibition and she felt very interested in the people she met there and she put her heart into it and we did this together. She is maybe the most important cooperator I had. Will you tell me about your favorite photos? In this exhibition? In this exhibition, yeah. I think the one there in the middle is good. The Madonna with the standing up kid. The portrait of my uh, good friend Emil Calderai, I like also very much. It's done in my daylight studio in Oslo. But what about Lucica? Lucica, I took this picture in 2003. It was very chaotic when I took it. I never learned her name. 2003 and in 2015 I find her again and I learned her name, Luchika, and now we are in contact. But that's another story that I found Luchika again after 12 years. How old is she? On this she's 10. Now she's 23 with three children and dressed in jeans. Have you found yourself in any unpleasant interactions with the Roma people while shooting for the magazine? There is one story in the magazine where they stole my camera. It disappeared for some days, but I got it back through the help of the gypsy. So it was negative and positive. Why do you think people are so adamant in their views of this if it's not the case? It's actually lack of information and every Romanian child growing up 
hairs from grandparents, uncles, mothers, fathers. If you don't behave, we give you to the gypsies. Maybe so, they make it meat. You know, so I met the first helpers I had. They thought gypsies were cannibals because they had heard from childhood. They even often say if they don't like the kid, they say maybe you were changed on the hospital, that you are not, uh, that you are wrong. Maybe so, you know, it's extremely much bad programming in Romanian brains about this and it's lack of information. You need to open up your hearts and then maybe open your heads also. Please, because they are here, you are here, you are together. sitting at the same table as gypsies, boys and girls, men and women. And they have a very more complex way to say Norok than the Romanians. Because you say Norok, whether you say it to this or that. In gypsy language, you say Bachtalo to a man, you say Bachtali to a woman, and you say Bachtale to a group. And if you get this right, you will never get problem if you sit down by the table on the Roma. But if you uh, say Bachtalo to the woman, they understand you have not learned. But it's easy, Bachtalo to a man, Bachtali to a woman, Bachtale to a group. It's better than just Norok, I think. Mm -hmm.